Raising $1 million for Roswell Park by playing the world's longest hockey game. That's what a group of Western New York hockey players will be doing in just a few short months. This is a monumental feat motivated by deep personal connections to the cause. Our Matt Beauvais caught up with the men getting ready for the 11 day power play. Mike Lesikowski of Kenmore has been playing hockey his entire life. Now, he's using the sport he loves to give back. The world record for the longest hockey game has only been done in Canada. So Buffalo is going to be the first one in the United States, and we're very proud of that, and we're hoping the community rallies around that. It's called the 11-Day Power Play, a charity hockey game that Mike first thought of while he watched his wife Amy battle cancer a few years ago. Seeing what my wife went through was, was difficult, um, but you, you rely on your friends and family. You just rely upon those people that, are, that help you get through things, and it makes you a stronger person at the end of it. Mike was wonderful. I mean, he was Mr. Mom. Um, sorry. <clears throat> you know, one thing that I tell cancer patients now is, you know, your caregivers are your support. Amy is now cancer free, but the joys of defeating cancer were short lived when the Lesikowskis took yet another hit. This time it was Mike's mom. She passed away a few months later. Her and my dad spent a lot of time traveling around the country when I was a little kid playing hockey, and, and uh, I think she'd be proud of this event. You know, she knows that she knows what a, what a hockey fan I am, and. Uh, she knows what it means to me, so I think giving back in this way, she'd be proud of it. So just like that, it all started. This hockey game needed to happen. So first, they needed a name, and then a venue, and of course, players. That shot on your own neck count? So Mike reached out to some of his friends who know a thing or two about hockey. Just got to break it down one shift at a time. It's not 11 days. It's one shift at a time. I think we're going to do it, and I think we have the support, and I think uh, a lot of credit should go out to Amy and Mike, so I think we should be thanking them. Three, two, one, go! An 11-day hockey game isn't going to be easy. Three, two, one! So in the months leading up to the game, the guys are really putting in work at the gym and on the ice. Get out the post. You're in the game that's going in. I have two uh, really good friends that are fighting cancer right now, and I had several friends in the past, so all that helps um, helps motivate you uh, to, to, to make a difference. Are these guys crazy? I don't think I would use the word crazy. I think they're committedly passionate. The event starts on June 22nd and runs until July 3rd, 11 days of nonstop hockey, but there's a catch. Let's show you what we mean. We're walking into one of the locker rooms here at Harbor Center. Once the puck drops, there is no leaving this building. So this will be turned into a dorm. It sounds daunting, but everyone involved says they're going to finish what they started. The guys are absolutely going to pull this off. If you have ever been around these guys, you would know that they are not going to give up. Watching my wife go through chemotherapy and surgery and spending months in the hospital, are you kidding me? Play hockey for 11 days? Seriously. Oh, it's such a great wow. initiative. 11 days is a long time, it's but they're gonna, time. I really think they're going to do it. My hat goes off to all of these guys. I know that they've been training since well before the new year. Yeah, they've been training yeah. for months and months and months. I had to laugh when I saw Jixer. Uh, he had <laughs> yeah. sent out a, a picture of their breakfast after one of their training sessions recently, and I thought to myself, boys will be boys. He had Timbits. <laughs> you Timbits for breakfast. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, great story. Thank, Thank you very you. much, I Matt. Appreciate it.